Uh, so our next guest is obviously an old mate, um, but also just happens to be a two-time Emmy-nominated comedian. He's been on our TV screens. He has now taken it global. Lois Sogola is back in studio, now finding a home in London, Australia. Uh, thank you. Where, wherever you find wherever, yourself wherever. in the world. Yeah, wherever. <laughs> um, dude, it's crazy. You really have spread your wings and, and doing so unbelievably well. So congratulations, Thank you very much. Man. Thank well you very done, much. Man. Very kind words of you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so good to have you back. How does it feel being back in SA? Cool. Is it weird now? Is it a bit of a culture shock oh, when you no, come no, back? No, no, It's definitely not a culture shock. It's definitely home. Uh, I, I, f I, I come to South Africa maybe like for a week or so and then, then, then jut off. Sometimes I have something like important to sort out and then I, I come <laughs> in and I, and I get out, but I don't have a culture shock. It's, it's still home, man. I'm only like, I've got a work permit in, in, in the UK and wherever I go. It's not like We haven't lost you just yet. We might nah, lose nah, you to nah, New nah, York nah. if we follow nah, any yeah, of the trends yeah. that are happening at the moment. You're back here to do a one-man show, yes. which is powerhouse. I would imagine quite a lot of pressure. People have an expectation of you. Unlearning is the title. What are you unlearning, sir, with this show? It's crazy. <laughs> like, um, unlearning is, it's this, because I'm 34 and I'm going through this journey of unpacking myself. This is what the show is about. I literally unpack myself on stage. And so what, is that, what that means is essentially I talk about all the things that I've learned through my life and what I'm trying to unlearn. Unlearning masculinity, unlearning what I put into my body, unlearning... My uh, well, in 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 unlearning um, masculinity, I, I then like learning a new way of interacting with women and how to s see women. It's like a, are it's you a, getting it right? Get <laughs> well, I don't know if it's getting it right, but I'm 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 learning. I'm what I'm le what I'm what I find fun now is like I'm 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 experimenting as to what masculinity should be. And in, in, in my perspective, do you understand? As opposed to how we were taught it to be. And boy, That's the most exciting thing for me at the moment. I think the world is learning what it is to be masculine, masculine. again Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So, so for me, like, that's such a pertinent conversation to be had amongst men, and sometimes openly, to how we should view ourselves. Is it a global conversation now? Is South Africa very different from a London, from an Australia, from a New York? Where, where, where is the world now when it comes to humor? Are we all laughing at the same things? I think because as humans, we go through the same things. We all um, go through heartbreak. We all go through love. We all go through pain and jealousy. There's a, there's a constant theme of emotions and crazy leadership. And we, all, and, we all, and we all experience them. So what happens is that the thing that makes us laugh are all those emotions. So on stand-up is just a manipulation of those emotions. So if I'm laugh, if you laugh, it's either like out of a fear or uh, out of a jealousy, out of a... It's, yeah, you, we, yeah, yeah, that's what it the is. The human condition is yeah, the same, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you feel more pressure doing a one-man show like this when you've got to come out here and deliver? Is it the same show every night? Is it different? How, how do you approach oh, I like this? I write a show and then I just kind of tore it around and it. it gets better the more I've... So I've done this show in the UK now. Crazy enough, yesterday, I just got uh, some Soho dates in May, so I'm going to go to Australia, I'm in Melbourne in April, in March, and then uh, Sydney in April, Perth in uh, bits of May, and then London, and then I'll, I'll see where I'll take it. So at the moment, we're trying to fill up the schedule to take the show, but tonight and tomorrow, I'm in Cape Town. Oh, so man. so, it's, so I, I'm, I'm going to tour the show. Hopefully, we'll end up in America and Canada and all those kind of oh, situations. Hopefully, you won't stay there, dude. We love the fact oh, no, that you've no, gone no, global, though, brother. We really, really, really are so proud of you, my thank man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and you can catch him live and unlearning at the Baxter Theatre. Um, I really do suggest you go. And just for 150 bucks, it's a steal, dude. It's thank a steal, you so yeah. much, my thank man. Thank you so much, man. Good luck. Keep making us laugh, man. Keep making us laugh. You can let us know um, if you've seen the show, what you think of Luis Ogola's unlearning.